Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys a rum. Uh, it's called Liquid Rum, and it's a second in it rum, sort of like you know the CM7 and MIUI and such. Uh, it's the only second in it rum that I've not covered to date. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not one of my favorites. It actually is one of my favorite ROMs here, uh, as well as customization. It's got tons of performance. It's going to be one of the perform best performing second edit ROMs that are available. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to install it real quickly. A couple things that you'll want to know is uh, if you're on any stock gingerbread ROM, uh, .596 or even the newest .602, then you're going to need to SBF back to Froyo. If you're on any Froyo framework, uh, stock Froyo ROM, uh, any custom ROM or even any of the second edit ROMs, you can just flash this directly over that. Um, now if you're on a second edit ROM and you've updated your baseband to .13, you will have to SBF back to the Froyo baseband which is .07. I um, already have it installed here so we'll go ahead and get started with the install tutorial and then I'll do a quick review of the ROM. So to install over a CM7 ROM You'll just hold down the power button. Hold down the power button. Choose reboot. And then reboot recovery. Click OK. Now if you're coming from a stock gingerbread ROM, you will have to SBF back to Froyo. Once you're on Froyo, go ahead and root your phone via Z4 root. And then install the Droid 2 Bootstrapper application. You can get it free online or you can buy it from the market to support the developer. It is open source though so just Google it and you'll find the download link. Uh, and then boot into recovery via Droid2 Bootstrap and install this ROM. So once you're in recovery you'll go down to wipe data factory reset. The way I'm navigating here is up and down volume to scroll camera button selects and the back button goes back. Uh, so you'll choose wipe data, factory reset, choose that, go down to yes, delete all user data, and select that. I'm going to go back, because I already have it installed. Wipe cache, select that, and then go down to yes, wipe cache, and select that. And then go back. Uh, then go to advanced, and wipe Dalvik, and then go down to yes, and wipe Dalvik. And then... I go back to the first menu, select install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then find the ROM on your SD card. Uh, to download the ROM, go to the link in the description. I have the ROM download link there. And uh, if you download it directly to your phone, it should be under SD card download. I do suggest uh, jumping on a Wi-Fi connection and it'll make things a lot quicker when you're downloading. I go to LGX version 2.6.zip and that's the name of the ROM there. You'll click OK and then you go down to Yes Install LGX version 2.6. Uh, this ROM did not take very long to install. It took all of you know four minutes at the most to install. And then you'll once it's finished installing you go to Reboot System Now. <clears throat> and then you'll reboot your phone. Um, this one does boot up pretty fast. Of course, on the first boot, it will take several minutes. <clears throat> now, this from in liquid settings. Uh, has the ability to flash several custom boot animations and when I say several I mean there's a ton of them in there so you can I'll show you how to get there in just a minute and once it boots okay we'll go ahead and get into our uh, quick ROM review so you see the lock screen here you can change the style of the lock screen and like I said, even from direct boot, it's very quick here. You can bring up the app drawer and see that it's already populating once it opens. <clears throat> if 
and find your way to settings and in settings is liquid settings and that's where you're going to have all your customizations that are unique to the liquid ROM. Now, if you go into applications uh, you can change your install location whether it's installed internally or to the external SD card. Uh, you can remove your apps from there um, and also they have browser settings in here and you can change your UA string you don't have to go into the browser and type in about dot debugging you can actually change your UA string here which is cool because some things uh, cannot load if, if it's under an Android UA string um, there's a few other settings in here I'm going to go into behavior and you can actually change and assign different applications to like your menu key or uh, your search key. Um, under general, you can change for the automatic backlight. You can add a screen on animation. It comes uh, pre-installed pre the screen off animation. So now when I turn it on, I have the screen on animation. Uh, you can change your rotation, how the screen rotates here. And if you don't like that at all, you can do zero degrees. <clears throat> and you can choose uh, how to lock different apps to where they can't be accessed here. Um, under goodies, like I said, you have several boot animations you can choose from. There's Even with uh, just the Droid does, you've got several different colors to choose from. The Droid Eye, <clears throat> several different colors to choose from. Uh, Liquid has several different ROMs. Uh, that are just specifically liquid boot animations there. Uh, fonts, you can choose from a whole list of fonts here. And you can switch between the uh, stock applications that come with the ROM and themed applications. In interface, you can cho change the LED notifications. I really like this option because you can go to miscellaneous here and say you wanted to change like your Gmail light that blinks up here, go to flash color and change the light. I'll go cyan and do a flash test here and you see that it's changed the color of the LED light there. And you can do that for all of those notifications there. In advance you can change the pulse rate and uh, you can do like random colors and pulse in order. There's a let's see status bar here you can actually take the clock away on the fly here you can change the battery uh, the way that it shows um, there's a render effect here if you change the render effect it's supposed to help to save battery I haven't really tested that or played around with that uh, over scroll effect uh, whenever you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and the color comes up, you can change that there to where it bounces and glows, or you can just make it glow or just bounce or nothing at all. Um, all this stuff is easily changed on the fly. Uh, on your lock screen, you can choose from a couple of different styles. Go to lock screen style. You have your slider, rotary sense, and lens styles. Um, answer call style, you can change that as well. And... You can hide the rotary arrows, which is what I've done. You can choose your background and I directly right there from the liquid settings. And you can also change what widgets come up on your lock screen, like your uh, music controls and your album art that will pop up. Um, overclocking, you can change your CPU speed from the liquid settings. Uh, if you want to save some battery, you can buff it down to 800 megahertz or 600 megahertz as your minimum. And if you are pure performance here, you can bump up your minimum to a higher speed. And you can even set governors here. And you can set it on boot. I don't recommend that unless you just know uh, that it will boot up. If you set it too low and then hit set on boot, uh, it does have to have a certain amount of power even to boot up, so I would suggest not checking that. In performance, you have several different uh, things here that you can change. System, 
how you've got why you can wipe your uh, cache battery stats you can fix permissions uh, instead of having to boot into clockwork recovery you can do it right there from liquid settings and they have the tablet tweak here if you want your status bar at the bottom you can do that there and also disable the lock screen and there's some tweaks in here as far as like the speed of the window animations you can change that and also the transition animation animations and you can change your font size uh, so guys there's tons of settings here um, also there's credits and about the ROM there uh, so lots to play around with um, this is one of the best performing ROMs that are out there right now that are supported by second in it so it's definitely one you'll want to check out um, if you guys like what I'm doing here subscribe to the channel to keep updated check out droidmoderx.com where you'll find all the latest in ROMs mods and hacks for your Droid X phone. Uh, we're beginning our expansion. We're looking to get a Droid Bionic, uh, hopefully the day that it comes out, and also a Samsung Galaxy 2, which I heard they're announcing that August 29th. So that should be coming to us pretty soon. Um, but still we have lots of things coming for the Droid X, such as HTC Sense. Uh, and then I also heard that P3 Droid is going to work on Tranquility. He's just waiting for all of these updates which are coming out now. Uh, we've got this .602 update. I'm going to do a video on that soon, uh, but it will not be the last update. In fact, it'll be one of many leaked updates before they get to the final build of .602. And we've also got Ice Cream Sandwich to look forward to for the Droid X. So there's many things coming uh, on this channel for the Droid X. Uh, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Intoxicated world